happening right now, another legal challenge trying to throw out a recall effort against these two state lawmakers, Senate President John Morse and Senator Angela Hirón. Both of them are under fire for their support of Colorado's new gun control laws. 7 News reporter Tyler Lopez is at Denver District Court for us, and Tyler, this hearing could last all day. And Bertha, so far the pace has been very, very slow. They've been talking about the same central question throughout the morning. And based on what we've seen, it looks like this will go at least into lunch, if not throughout the rest of the day. And to a large degree, both sides, both Democratic senators, are using the same argument on which they already lost. Both Senators John Morris of El Paso County and Angela Hirono Pueblo took this same argument before the Deputy Secretary of State earlier in the month, arguing that the petitions to recall them should be tossed out because they didn't contain a key phrase that by signing the petition, those signatures agreed to demand an election to choose the successor. But that's something the Secretary of State already ruled was not going to cause this entire recall election process to be tossed out. So it has moved forward. It is now before Chief Judge Robert Hyatt. That's the first question today. If he does not toss those petitions and we do move forward, the next question would be when would the recall election take place? Because right now, both jurisdictions are looking at different dates. In El Paso County, they're talking about August 27th for the Morse recall election. And in Pueblo, they're looking at September 10th. Now, the governor told me yesterday he's the one who has to set this recall election date. He'd like to do it on the same day and was waiting for this hearing to choose that exact day. But certainly nothing decided at this point as both Democratic senators using the same argument, but this time hoping for a different result. Live at the city and county building, Tyler Lopez.